What's up fellow content creators and streamers, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best OBS settings for a lower end PC, but before we get into that, make sure you guys drop a like on this video and subscribe down below, but other than that, let's get right into the video. So one of the first steps is you have to go download OBS Studio. This is the best program because they take the less CPU usage rather than Streamlabs or Stream Elements, all those other programs. They'll take a good percent of your CPU usage before you even do anything, which is definitely going to be useful for a lower end PC. PC. So once you have OBS open, the first step you're going to want to do is go straight to the settings tab. Once you're in the settings tab, the first thing we're going to go over is in the general tab. So for the general tab, there's nothing much you can really do here. But what I like to do is if I'm about to start a stream or end it, I would have a confirmation dialogue just in case if you accidentally click on starting or stopping your stream and then you don't accidentally end it or start it. Like I said, nothing really helps your performance here. So let's go straight into stream. Now for stream, this is where you just connect your Twitch account or whatever you stream on. So it's just going to say connect account and you're going to want to log in and keep the server to auto just so you can get the best broadcast service for your streams. There's nothing really much you can do here. So let's go ahead and move on to output. Now for output, there's quite a few things you can do. What I recommend doing is if you have a graphics card to immediately change it to the graphics card under encoder. But if you don't, then you'll just have to keep it to X264, which is completely fine. Keep 1920 to 1080. We want to make sure that you're you're getting that 1080p quality. The best rate control is CBR, which stands for constant bitrate. This is based off your upload speed. You're going to want to set your bitrate to a third of what your internet speed is. So for 10 megabits, per example, that would be 10,000 kilobits. So you're going to want to change that to a third, which would be around 3,500. For keyframe interval, you're going to want to set that to two. For preset, I would recommend doing quality or performance. Probably keep it on the quality side if you can, but if your computer cannot handle it, obviously change it to a performance. For profile, I would just keep it to main. For look ahead and visual tuning, I would check both of these off. For GPU, just keep it at zero. And then for max B frames, I would set to two. And then for recording, your recording format is obviously MP4. Once again, your encoder, that's really up to your computer. So if you have a GPU, set it to the GPU. But if you only have your CPU, set it to X264. Your output, obviously keep it at 1080p. Your rate control for recording, I would set to a variable bit rate. For recording, this is going to be more up to your computer rather than the internet. So for bit rate, I would try to keep it around 6,000. And then for max bit rate, I would try to keep it around 12,000. Give it some leeway, give it some room, make sure your computer can get as much as it can out of itself. Keyframe, keep it to two. Once again, for preset, I would try to set to quality. But if you can't do quality, do performance. Profile, keep at main. Once again, check off visual tuning and look ahead and keep it max B frames to two. For audio, don't change anything. Keep everything to 160 and for replay buffer set this to off now for video i would keep the base canvas resolution to 1080p for output i would change to 720p but for downscale filter i would keep at 16. this is going to make your computer do less work and then for the common fps value i would change to 30 fps odd keys this is really up to you on what you want to change and then finally for advanced what you're going to want to change first is the priority you want to make your stream as much priority as possible so you want to change the that to above normal. For the renderer, keep it at direct 11. For the color format, I would do NV12. The color space, 601. Color range, partial. I wouldn't change anything else personally, so you should be good and advanced. Now, when you start up OBS, you want to make sure that you're running it as an administrator. You really want OBS as the main priority compared to your games or whatnot. And then for any game as you play, for example, Warzone, you want to make sure that all the settings are set to the lowest you can, and then keep the game at 60 fps yes it's not the greatest time for you but it's a lot better for your viewers but other than that that's pretty much it it's very simple to do if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below and other than that i'll be seeing you guys later peace out